welcome back. So this morning in our science class, we are starting the Magic School Bus Young Explorers Club um, science kit about bacteria and fungus. And today we are doing experiment one, preparing the agar. And so we have the things we need, which um, is the agar mix here, the chicken bouillon, two petri dishes, the measuring cup. We will also need a mixing spoon, a small, and a small saucepan, um, which uh, we have at home. And then we have our instructions here. So um, I'm gonna flip it actually. There's in the back, there are kind of more detailed instructions for the supervising adult. Um, so we've got our pot ready and we're going to fill up the water here. I'll be right back. All right, so we have our 200 milliliters of water in the pot. We have the fire on, if you can see it, fire on in the stove, and we are getting ready to pour the agar mixture into the pot. So Graham poured that whole thing in. Dump it all in, all of it. Don't flop it around. All of it in. All right, now the instructions say to boil. Okay, you can throw that bag in the trash. The, we're going to boil the mixture and stir constantly. Graham, Graham, that's enough. So we are gonna, sorry about the whiny toddler in the background. Um, so we're going to, here, you can stir a little bit. It's hot, be Thanks, careful. Mom. You're going to stir and stir and stir until it starts to boil and until the solution is clear. Once the solution is clear, we're going to add the chicken bouillon. Continue to heat and stir the solution until most of the bouillon is dissolved. Simmer for one minute, and then we're gonna pour the solution into the two Petri dishes. Hey, Jojo, you need to calm down, okay? Everyone's gonna get a chance. Everyone's gonna get a chance, but you can't cry or you can't do it with me. You, why don't you go get a chair? Um, is this about enough? No! Joel. <laughs> Carmen, I asked him. I did not ask you. I asked him to do it. This is what happens when I do science experiments with my kids. Get Stay back because it's hot. We're getting it to boil. Me too. Carmen, just a minute. Joel. So we're stirring and we're stirring yes, and there's still can. some, so you can still see some agar in there. Okay, You're, to nobody's going to get to stir except Graham because everyone's fighting. Joel and Carmen, quit fighting. All right, we're stirring and stirring. Bubbly. Ooh, it's bubbly. It is bubbly. The next I one. Can't see. Okay. Shh. You can too see. So quit crying. I'm all let some mine. Okay. Can I do this? Oops, sorry. I can't see the agar. That's the agar. Yeah, we want to make sure we boil it enough. That's what the directions say. We want to make sure it gets boiled enough. That's we want it to be, for the steam. We want, yeah, the steam can burn you. We want to make sure that we get all of the, um, we got All of the agar mixture dissolved. All right, now we are ready for the chicken bouillon and we are Ooh, gonna pour it in. Pot. Keep stirring, Joel. We're gonna pour it in the pot. Don't spill it. Pour all of it in there, Carmen. Every single bit. Pour all in. Pour all in. And then you can go throw that in the trash. The, the bouillon kind of acts as food for the bacteria to grow on when we start doing the experiments. You gotta stir slowly. Stir slowly. Um, Not super slow, but you don't want to slop it out. Wanna come see what it looks like? Alright. So Yellow. next up will be pouring it into the petri dishes. And here we have poured the agar into our petri dishes. Now, right now they're very, you can see, very jiggly 
and we've got to wait almost kind of like it's jello until it's super firm and so the um, instructions say just to let it cool and it will harden and make sure not to disturb the dishes or poke holes um, with fingers and tomorrow we are going to use these to test out how well soap works in killing bacteria so we will kind of show you that experiment too and the results so thanks for watching our science experiment today and we'll be back for more later.